Hey everybody, I'm here today with a video of myself adding another hole to a leather bracelet. I'll be going over some easy instructions for doing this, so let's get right into the video. First of all, this is my leather bracelet with my uh, kids' names on it. My wife got this for me for a uh, recent Father's Day. I have four kids, Luke, Olivia, Claire, and Kate. They are the absolute loves of my life, um, and I love the bracelet. But when I wear it on the second notch, it's a little bit too loose. It's still okay. It's just a touch too loose. But when I wear it on the first notch, it's a little bit too tight. So I wanted to add another hole to this bracelet. Now, just for full disclosure, I love this bracelet and I love the charms, the, uh, the name charms over here, the name IDs. However, I know that if I mess this up, I can always take these, uh, these charms, uh, these like names right here, and I can put them on a dish different bracelet. What matters more to me is the names over here, not so much the bracelet, but I would like to keep the bracelet intact and working. So I've done a little bit of, uh, of a preliminary uh, sort of guidance for myself, and I'll tell you what I did. Essentially, I have a small drill bit, a very, very small drill bit to drill a pilot hole, and I wanna drill it somewhere between the second hole and the first hole right here. Somewhere just basically in the middle of the those two holes, okay? And then um, I want to drill the hole to be just the right size so that I can squeeze this little nub through it, which will allow me to wear the bracelet properly, okay? Because right now when I wear the bracelet, I can squeeze that nub through the middle hole, that's where I wear it, and it works fine. Now these holes over here have a, it's kind of hard to see because of the poor lighting, I'm sorry, but they have a hole and then a tiny little notch, a tiny little slit over there. So, you know, I'm gonna try and do this just by making a hole, and if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna use the hole that I made and I'm gonna put a tiny little slit and hopefully that'll get me where I need to be. Okay, so let's just try it out. I mean, I'm gonna do my best to just keep this in uh, immaculate condition. I wear this pretty much every day, all day, unless I'm you know, going in the water or washing a lot of dishes at once or I'm gonna get my arms wet. I wear it all the time. So, you know, I don't expect it to be in perfect condition. It does get used, uh, but I do wanna keep it in usable condition because I do love wearing it. So I'm gonna get the first drill bit. Um, I do have, just so you know, a Ryobi drill. Um, I've had this drill for, I don't know, close to 10 years probably. I love it. And I have a drill bit collection beside me in case I need it. But these three should be enough. So I'm going to start off by just putting this small, tiny little drill bit into the drill um, chuck, I believe it's called. Um, I know, I, I use a drill all the time. I, I used to know what it was called. I'm just trying to jog my memory. And I'm going to try and just get a mark roughly in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to try and get it roughly in the middle. Once I get this drill bit basically in the middle of those two markings, okay, and in line with them, in terms of centering, I'm gonna just carefully try and get a pilot hole. I'm gonna just try and go slowly through the leather. I don't wanna go aggressively. I'm trying to get a pilot hole very, very slowly. There we go, and we're through. There we go. Now, this is a wooden block below me just to protect it from the concrete, right? Um, but as you can see, I drilled a nice pilot hole. It did go through, as you can see, right over there. And what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna remove that drill bit, okay? And I'm gonna go with the smaller of the two that I have here. And I'm gonna try and um, try and make this hole, hopefully the right size or close to the right size. So just give me a moment. It's always harder to work with small drill bits, putting them in drills. I'm gonna be very careful when I do this because I don't want to ruin the leather and I don't wanna make it too big. So these are the holes that I've drilled with those drill bits that I'm using right now. And I just sort of tested it out. Now this is cloth, it will stretch. It's leather, I believe it's leather, it will stretch, right? So I just kind of tested it. And I'm going with the smallest option first because I can always go bigger after. So I'm gonna just carefully get it in the pilot hole, right? Nice and straight, you want a nice straight drill point. And I'm gonna slowly, I don't wanna rip up the leather, I'm gonna slowly go through because I can always go faster later. Right, slowly, you can already see that it's curving there, right? It's pulling the leather. Slowly, slowly, there we go, we're through. I'm gonna back it out, okay? And I'm gonna dust it off, and I'm gonna try one more time. Because I do have a hole there, I'm gonna try one more time to drill right through it. Okay, there we go. We are indeed through, perfect. Because I wanted to get a nice, good, solid hole in the leather, as you can see right there, okay? 
So, and for myself, like I wear my wedding ring all the time. I wore this literally when I was hand mixing concrete, okay? And, and the troweling it on by hand. So I literally wear it all the time. So like, I'm not a person that gets something and I'm gonna take immaculate care of it. I wear the stuff that I have, no matter what it is, right? So I'm gonna wear this all the time. So I don't want it to be perfect, but I want it to be functional. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just loop it over and I'm gonna see if I can sort of squeeze this in because I do want a tight fit. So I'm gonna see if I can squeeze this in or how far off we are from it. Okay, so it is definitely a little too small. I am gonna, I think I'm gonna end up needing that slit. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to go with the bigger drill bit, okay? I'm gonna go with the bigger drill bit um, and I'm going to try with the bigger drill bit. This one is slightly bigger, okay? We're gonna go and see if this works. This is, I believe, one step up from the last drill bit. I kinda knew that was gonna be too small, but I just wanted to play it safe. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to drill this in. Oh, we're already through. Okay, so I mean, I don't think that's gonna do much good because that was really fast to get through. I'm gonna go from the other side as well to really get this hole nicely, nicely carved out, okay? And we're gonna see where we're at now. That looks, Almost there, but still a little too small compared to the other hole. So we're gonna just see what we can do here. Let's see if we can push this through. We're almost, actually, we're almost there. It almost, it's almost going through. So a couple options here. The first option is I can bore this out with this drill bit a little bit by going in a circular motion. The second option is I can go for the next size up, which I'm going to try and find. So I believe this is the next size up. now. Also keep this in mind, let's say I mess up this hole, I'm still okay with the one that I'm currently using. So I'm always keeping that in mind. So, you know, like in an ideal world, I would just go each drill bit size one by one, but I don't have that availability because my drill bits are an absolute mess. And I, I some of them I've broken, some of them I've lost. So this is the next one up that I have in this, in this uh, drill bit container. So we're gonna try this out. It is significantly bigger. I'm gonna hope it's not too big. Let's drill this out. Okay, on one side. Okay, and before I go on the other side, let's play this safe, come on. Let's play this safe, come on guys, okay? I'm gonna try this out before I go on the other side, okay? It is definitely almost there, but we are still decently off. Let's go from the other side, and I'm gonna just bore it out a little bit. So I'm gonna go from the other side, and to bore out a hole, I'm gonna go in a circular motion like that okay just like that and that boarded out significantly now as you can see we're almost there now i'll tell you what i think i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna put try and push this through but i think we're we're close but we're not there yet. oh there we go we got it Woo! i'm excited look at that that's a nice hold that is a nice hold okay now is the true test i feel like i shouldn't do this because how about if i didn't get the right fitment that's why i feel like i might i shouldn't try it out on camera it's a nice hold you know what i'm gonna try it out in <laughs> you know okay let's do it let's let's own this okay if i ended up you know not getting the notch properly um then then you then we'll deal with it but i'm gonna try it out let's try it out so i'm gonna put it around my wrist it's usually a lot easier to do this when i am not oop, well, see when i'm not on camera i'm gonna put it around my wrist and we're going to try to um, notch it in place. And let's see if we got the placement right. Okay, let's push it through. Oh, wow. Look at that. It is basically perfect because I got just enough play here. I have just enough movement. It's, in my opinion, the perfect tightness. It might be just a touch to... No, that's okay. I like this. And I always have the option of going back to the previous option, which was like this. A little bit looser, you know. This was a little bit too loose, but I always have that option. So now I have both options. A little bit tighter, right? Which it might be a little bit too tight. We'll see how I feel about it. Or a little bit looser, which was the one that I had originally. But that's it. If you have a leather bracelet and you want to um, put another hole, and you can do this with a belt as well, with anything leather that has these holes or these notches, um, yeah, you can do it easily. Just take your time. Go with your drill bits one step at a time. Um, and yeah, because you don't want, once it's too big, well, it's too late, you can't take it back, right? So that's it. I mean, this was a much longer video than I had anticipated. I thought it was going to be maybe two, three minutes. It's much longer. If you've stuck around for the entire process, I really do appreciate it. But yeah, that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.